What's going on, beautiful people? It is your boy, the one, the only Bubba Feast himself. And well, today, ladies and gents, we have a very surprising and but welcoming unboxing for you guys here today. So let's get into it. Ah, uh, Mr. Feet, Mr. Bob A. Feet. Sure, whatever. How's it going, everyone? Oh my goodness, I, I, I honestly can't. I can't believe this has happened. This is just, it, it, it's wonderful. Like, it's just, what has happened? Like, I honestly was about to record my five part. I was about to record my final video for my five part series. You guys don't know. I'm, I have been doing a five part series of unboxing every single Boba Fett figure that has come out when it comes to one six scale. And well, I reviewed all of them because that's all that have been released yet and well i was about to record the last one which was comparing all of them but dude out of nowhere just out of nowhere just out of nowhere hot toys decides to you know say you know what we're gonna bless the hot toys community and drop this bad boy here in the world today ladies and gents we have this beautiful figure of mr fett from the mandalorian when he made his first appearance back since the return of the jedi movie that came out almost 40 years ago which is insane but yes ladies and gents we finally have this two pack here this is my very first two pack and i'm very excited i want to give a huge shout out to midas studios for of course well getting this to your boy as soon as possible i pre-ordered it a very very long time ago well it's here today and it's here to for me to review to you guys here today so once again huge shout out to midas for getting this out to me because when it comes to day one pre-orders and all that stuff well they're the guys to go so if you guys want to check them out you guys can see my link below but yes ladies and just we have the figure two back here it is the deluxe version which of course i'll have to get because well I'm a huge Boba Fett fan. I have to have every single Boba Fett figure, except for the quarter scale and the sideshow one because those suck. I don't care what you say. It doesn't matter because it fucking sucks. I don't care. It sucks. It just sucks. And of course, if Tom Specker's watching, that's for you, buddy. But anyways, back to the figure itself. Yes, we have this beautiful box art over here, as you guys can see, with the two figures that this comes with, which is, of course, the... Tuscan Raider, Boba Fett, which I like to call it. And then, of course, the bird shit version, which a lot of people like to call this one, too. Or at least the promo photos, which I believe this is a promo photo. But things have changed from what I've been told. And, of course, we have this little orange ribbon that comes around it with Mr. Fett himself. With his, the beautiful Tamora, Tamora Morrison head sculpt with the little chain code accessory right there. And then, of course, we have another figure of it with the figure itself. And yeah, and then we have this little sticker, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, let's just take this bad boy off. And surprisingly, this box isn't as big as I thought it would be. It's very flat, as you guys can see. I thought it'd be much like thicker, but I mean, I've never had a um, two pack before. And oh my God, dude, look at that. Oh, uh, dude, this, oh God, it came off. Damn it. Well, screw that you see the box art insert just beautiful as always look how big that is that's what she said but ladies and gents we have a little figure preview of everything that comes with this holy shit this is gonna take a while but without further ado ladies and gents we will dive into the accessories itself and then the figures itself so we'll be right back all right ladies and gents so we have all the accessories laid out in front of us here today and well today we actually have a bunch of accessories for boba fett we don't just have his pocket knives and all that stuff and all that bismo that we usually have now we actually have a variety of different and unique items for well mr fett himself so let me just dump right into the boring part really but there's really nothing boring about this we actually have the base place that you can use for the boba fett figures of course as you guys can see this is actually a harder one i know a lot of people wanted to know if this was like the uh i want to say i think it was like a paper one for the jawas a lot of people didn't like the jawa bases that came with well that figure and well they wanted to know i honestly don't know what the problem was i think it was just like a paper material but this is a very hard solid one right here as you guys can see and obviously it looks like the grass well that was filmed for that episode when they were obviously in the grass and all that so very very nice obviously it has it's nice texture and well it looks like it's part of a landscape and all that which is very nice but as you guys can see grass there and of course dirt so nothing crazy there unfortunately we do not get a plaque saying you know both and all that which is kind of a bummer but at the same time you don't really need anything to well 
prove to anyone that, well, this is Boba Fett. So moving on to the next part, of course, is this really cool accessory, which is, of course, this beat the fuck out of Stormtrooper helmet. As you guys can see, this thing is awesome. And the fact that the Hot Toys included this is ridiculous. And in fact, if you guys don't know, you guys can actually probably put this on a Stormtrooper. I currently do not have a Stormtrooper on me right now because, well, I sold my commander stormtrooper that i actually just reviewed and then of course well you guys see the detail on that you see how crushed up this shit is and it's beautiful it's honestly just beautiful very very nice accessory and very detailed and the fact that hot toys actually included this is a very nice you know little gift that they included for us and of course moving on to the weapons of course we actually have mr Fett's staff right here. This is called the Gadurfi staff, I guess. It's the Tuscan Raider staff that a lot of, well, Tuscan Raiders use and all that. But this is both of that specifically, as you guys can see. Look at the detail on that. That thing is nice. And this is going to look super sick on the back of, well, Tuscan Raider Boba Fett's back. I'm going to put this on his back because, well, I think this is what it looks better on. I don't think him holding on or at least displaying with him is going to be like my thing. But as you guys can see, the paint apps on this is pretty nice. As you guys can see, it has a very nice bronze color to it. As you guys can see, hold on, let it focus real quick. It's very hard because it's like really thin. But uh, yeah, you guys can see that little paint app right there, little rustiness and all that. As you guys can see up there with the little sharp edges. And then of course, well, we have this little material right here that's supposed to be like the grips of it. And then of course the end of it, which is, well, the detail of the Tuscan Raider staff. So yeah, I find this part really cool. And I think it's a very nice staff. And yeah, I'm not gonna speak too much on it just because, well, you guys already see what it is and well, you guys know what it is. And of course we have the Tuscan Raider Cycler Rifle. As you guys can see, this is a very, very nice adaptation of Boba Fett's, well, version of the Tuscan Raider Cycler Rifle. And that's what my research showed me because, well, obviously with, with the bug of Boba Fett right now, we see that, you know, Boba Fett's in the Tusken Raider family and all that type of stuff. And that's where he really gets his stuff from. And of course he has this in the Mandalorian. So as you guys can see the very nice details on this. It's very, very nice, very weathered on each part of these little part like barrel sections. And of course we move up to like the scope and all that with the little copper sign paint right there. And then look at the little details on the trigger and all this part. It's a really nice blaster. I really like it. I like the effect that it will have on Boba Fett's, you know, back because i'm going to be displaying it with you know him having it in the back along with the staff right there and this little strap right here is actually pleather so for those of you guys that are curious well it's pleather and you know just be very careful with that but uh yeah that is his rifle right there his cycler rifle and then we move on to boba fett's blaster i tried looking everywhere to find out where the name is for this if i if you guys know what it is please let me know down below but uh yeah, we have this little blaster rifle. It actually comes with two of them to, I believe, display with each one of them, which is a very nice addition. I'm not going to show both of them because they're both exactly the same. But uh, yeah, you guys can see the little nice weathering marks right there. As you guys can see, it's like a very grayish in the front and then a black metal on the back and with this little stock or grip right here, like wooden stock. It's very, very nice. And then this little, like, I guess, thing where you can hang it off of. But yeah, it's a very nice blaster, very different, and actually kind of reminds me of the other blasters that the other Boba Fett's had. But uh, yeah, very, very nice right there. And then, of course, we will move on to the second, I guess, most boring part, and that is, of course, the hands. So the hands actually come with a very nice variety of it. We actually have like a thumbs up, which is very different. We never get that from Hot Toys, of course. And then we have a grip one, which is not too crazy different. We have another left hand thumbs up grip right there and then we have these i believe gun wielding ones which is of course a must have for mr fett himself as you guys can see they're all playing back and this actually is i believe the same one as the one that the mandalorian has because you guys can see that little arrow right there but it's all blacked out which i don't know if that's actually accurate to the costume itself but if that's not the case that's kind of lazy and hot toys but uh yeah as you guys can see, little it's just black with a little weathering there. And then of course, my favorite one, which I may be displaying it with, that is of course the one where Boba Fett actually, you know, kind of flips it in his hand. So that's why it has his finger like that. And you put it like this and it just looks like he's just like, you know, spinning it. Obviously, I'm gonna probably do a better job of doing that, but 
for now you guys get the gist of what I'm trying to explain right there. So yeah, it's a very, very nice hand that they actually did include. And, and the fact that Hot Toys did that is very, very surprising. And then of course, moving on to the next coolest part, we have this extra knee armor or shield, whatever you want to call it, but it is different. Unfortunately, mine came ripped, which kind of sucks, but uh, probably will never be displaying this. So it's not really that much of a big deal, but it, I mean, I could always glue it. So it's not a big deal. But as you guys can see, the weathering on this is very, very beautiful. We are not talking just about the weathering. We are talking about the fact that this comes with this little accessory where, you know, you just put that there and it actually looks like that you're firing the, you know, the little missiles right here on his knees. I like the fact that Hot Toys added this, but um, yeah, we have that, which is a very nice accessory. And of course, we will move on to the next set of accessories. And that is, of course, well, the little chain code things that this comes with or the little holograms. So on this one, we have a, I believe this is a bonus. They didn't actually show this, I don't think. But uh, we have this little hologram of Django Fett back in the day. And I'm pretty sure this is like supposed to interpret like the fact that, you know, this was actually Django Fett's armor. Little hologram effect right there. I love these hologram things. They look so cool. But uh, yeah, nothing special there. Or no, I don't want to say special, but nothing crazy or out of the ordinary there. And then, of course, we actually have the chain code that, well, Mr. Fett himself actually shows Mando, you know, saying, you know, this is my army, you know. And I believe this actually does say something about Django Fett being taken as a foundling and then also saying that this belongs to Boba Fett. Obviously, I don't know the exact thing, but I'll probably try to put like a picture here of, you know, what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, we have that there. And it's a very nice addition. I like the fact that Hot Toys actually gave this to us because it's kind of a cool little diorama piece where you can, you know, have Mando and then eventually Fennec when she comes out and then, you know, Boba Fett just talking to him and all that, which is a very cool thing. And I like that. But uh, yeah, we have that there. And of course, we have this little flamethrower effect right here, as you guys can tell right there. It's nothing crazy. You guys know already what this is because, well, we've already had it many times in, the, in various Mandalorian figures. So yeah, there you have it there. And then of course, last but not least, we have my favorite accessory, and that is, of course, and that will always be the jetpack. My favorite thing about Boba Fett is the fact that this fool can fucking fly, and, well, of course, he has to have a badass jetpack to go along with it. And as you guys can see, this thing is gorgeous. I love the fact of how beat up this shit is. My boy survived the Sarlacc pit, and, of course, Han Solo damaged his shit when he got, well, before he died in Return of the Jedi. And just look at how gorgeous this thing is. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. It's just, look at the weathering on it. Look at the paint apps. The green on this is gorgeous. And I, I, I can't express that enough. And as you guys can see, ladies and gents, this is finally magnetic. No more of this hanger bullshit that they used to give us. We finally have a magnetic jetpack for Boba Fett. So cannot wait to display that on there and you know figure out how easy this because we've had enough i've had enough i reviewed four of these figures and all of them had the hanger straps and they were the biggest pain in the ass but yes hot toys finally did it and of course not only does this jetpack look super badass but the fact is it has a very nice variety of well you know features that you can do on it obviously we can have the jetpack flying things right here which is nothing too different you know it's not something that you know is out of the ordinary that we've seen but we also have this accessory which i'm excited that hot toys has implemented this we finally have the accessory where it could shoot out the rocket so you guys can see this can come off and of course you put this accessory in there i'm sorry the other way around just like that put it, you can obviously push it in. i'm just not gonna push it all the way in yet but and then of course we have this and then it basically showcases that, you know, it's firing the rocket. I'm super excited that they actually, not, even, not super excited, but I'm super happy that they, you know, did that piece. It gives you the option to give you more display options and how you want to display well the figure. And well, I'm glad that Hot Toys is implementing that in these types of jetpacks. But uh, yeah, that is super dope. I love how it looks. Obviously, these move and all that, of course, when you want to fly and all that. But the main thing about this beautiful jetpack is, well, it's obviously gorgeous it's just you you can't really say much about it just look at the paint apps on this it is absolutely gorgeous all around it's just i love that weathering mark and just how this thing looks 
But with that being said, ladies and gents, we are going to be moving on to, well, the beautiful figure. So we will be right back. As you guys can see, we have the Boba Fett here in front of us here today. And as you guys can tell, well, these things are absolutely gorgeous from head to toe. Everything about them just looks beautiful. I honestly was not a big fan of these at first, you know, when I first saw them on the show. But um, honestly, I, it really grew on to me. The only thing I really did not like and I still actually don't like is the fact that it has the dad belly, which nice touch from Hot Toys. We actually have the beer belly from him. You guys can really tell on here. He has the big body, the dad body on there, but uh, it's still not one of my favorite looks of Boba Fett when it comes to his body type, I guess. I know it's kind of weird to say, but obviously it has a big role on how he looks. But Hot Toys' adaptation of this is gorgeous. It's, it's just beautiful. You just see all the paint apps right there, and of course the boots and all that stuff right there. Just look at that. The detail on that knee pad and then of course we see all these new accessories we have a new belt unfortunately it's not the pockets anymore with these removable little bullets i guess you could call them and of course with a little scarf there and of course the whole undersuit is a very soft leather at least the pants are soft kind of cotton silk they're like a soft cottonish kind of feel to it and we have a fat suit over here as you guys can see because well we need to add the dad body on this and then of course moving up to the chest area as you guys can see i love the fact that hot toys fixed this they fixed it they made this armor look like birds shot all over it and then just said fuck you to both of it but they actually fixed it look at the weathering on this this is done beautifully on this figure they actually nailed this on this figure and i'm not over exaggerating because i'm a boba fett fan all right get that shit straight i am not trying to over exaggerate nor am i trying to kiss hot toys ass because they do not sponsor me on this shit this is my own money that i'm paying for but honestly they honestly kill it with this weathering and it's just beautiful and you can feel the texture on it which is really nice and i like the fact of it but another thing is well they made the helmet look like bird shit when it came to the production photos. I'm sorry, the prototype photos. But as you guys can see with the production ones, it is way, way better. And it just looks absolutely gorgeous. As you guys can see that whole detail around the helmet. You see that shit is worn the fuck out. It's beautiful. And then, of course, we move on to the little chest plate area. You guys can see the detail on that as well. Just very beautiful. We have the little logo right there. And then of course we have the little numbers right there. And one thing I noticed too is that this thing actually looks straight. I know a lot of people had gripe, a gripe with the fact that Hot Toys never got in you know, the armor plate section very straight. To me it looks straight, so I that is good enough for me. And of course we have the shoulder pads right there on both on each side, which of course they look battle worn and all that good stuff. And of course we have the gauntlets. As you guys can see, the gauntlets look beautiful. Nothing has changed about them other than the fact that they beat the shit out of. And then we actually have a nice tubing right here, which is a very nice rubber feel to that, which I really like. And of course, well, ladies and gents, like I said earlier, we have the... Well, that was a fucking fail because guess what? I broke my jetpack, which is awesome. I love to see it, but uh, yeah, on to going on about that i will probably have to fix that later this is magnetized Woo! this shit is magnetized even after i fucked up my jetpack and it's gonna look like shit now i think that they they nailed this at i think they blew this out of the fucking ballpark this thing just looks absolutely gorgeous with it comes to weathering and how they nailed the look full well, from the mandalorian and of course we have this little holster i forgot to mention but uh yeah enough of this one i know i got to the best part for last but uh i know I know I got into the best part first, but I really wanted to showcase that because I think that looks fucking dope. But uh, yeah, and then on to the second figure we have over here. That is, of course, the hobo version of Boba Fett, which I like to call. And of course, I want to just point out the fact that this head sculpt is ridiculous. Look at that, dude. Look how crazy that thing looks. It's absolutely ridiculous on how accurate that looks like him. It's fucking scary, like a little mini figure that this is and then look at that scoring the detail on this is absolutely gorgeous on this and well you can't go wrong with this whatsoever because well hot toys nailed the fuck out of this out of the park it just looks beautiful as you guys can see the scoring on this is beautiful skin texture all this texture on this is beautiful i mean and there's really nothing else much to say other than the fact well that it's beautiful and then when it comes to the figure itself there's really nothing much that's crazy about it it's the fact that 
it still has the same belt that we see on the figure right there itself and then of course it has like this little leather pleather actually uh look to it right here as you guys can see and then we have the little holster right here for the blaster which is why we got an extra blaster and then we have the coat over here made out of a very nice material as you guys can see but uh yeah same boots so nothing really crazy other than the fact it's more of a more cleaner look i would rather say but uh yeah we have that there and of course like i said you can take this off which i'm not going to because it's not something that i want to take off because i want to keep this look but uh, yeah and of course we have the fat suit under here you guys can see well it's kind of like you guys can see it's very very thick but uh, when it comes to articulation on this it's not a bad figure when it comes to art you know the articulation and posability the only thing you just won't be able to like you know bend it like you would usually do with the stomach piece of the fat suit but you can remove that obviously if you want to I'm, I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it i'm not gonna have him stupid poses either but uh yeah when it comes to articulation and the leg movement it looks really good you can you know move him in all types of other good thing you know positions which is a very nice touch to it and then when it comes to this version of boba fett well the articulation on it is not limited as well i would rather say because well there's nothing there's not that much many armor pieces like if it was a clone and all that the leg articulation is pretty good for what it is and of course you can move it and do it in dynamic poses and of course same thing with the stomach you can't really do much because of the fat suit and well i mean you can't really blame them they wanted to achieve the beer belly look and well if you guys want to remove it you guys can take all this shit off but i'm not going to do that so with that being said ladies and gents what we will do now and of course go to my favorite part of the video which is showing the beautiful poses you can put these figures in while of course expressing my final thoughts and well giving it a rating so we will be right back all right everybody so we are back with the final part of the video and after like two hours of just trying to figure out posing and all that type of stuff well we are here finally with our two well beautiful figures here today as you guys can see we have the hobo version of mr feet and then the bird shit version of mr fett over here it's not one of my favorite boba fett looks in my opinion but it does look so much better in person and well in one six scale form because hot toys like i said they just knocked it out of the park when it came to this the head sculpt on this is absolutely like it's it's out of this world, dude. This head sculpt is freakishly good. And of course, the paint apps and the weathering on the armor version of this figure, well, it's just spectacular, dude. Holy shit. Like, I'm telling you, like, I'm not trying to over-exaggerate. I'm trying to give you my best opinion and my honest opinion. And this was definitely not a letdown. I honestly didn't think this was going to be one of my favorite figures in my collection, let alone... The only reason why I was going to keep it was because, well, it's Boba Fett. But just keep looking at this. It's beautiful. I know with myself, I did tell myself, I don't know if I was going to display this guy here or then, but seeing the head sculpt and how it is, and with the latest episode of the Book of Boba Fest, which just came out, which is episode two with the Tusken Rangers and all this, I kind of just had more meaning to it. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have it like this. I do have some cons that I do want to talk about. I don't want to say a lot. I don't want to discourage either because it's just something to be aware of. One thing I do hate about this particular figure, hood sucks at what I want it to be. Maybe it's just my OCD fucking with me, but it's like just trying to get it what it, to make it not look like he was a wizard. It's very fucking frustrating. It's been like the past half an hour doing that. And then I spent another half an hour fixing the freaking uh, the staff and the, the rifle because it was just so complicated they have like this little string mechanism where it's like you pull on it to make it tighter so they can be together like they hold on together and it just it just fucked up it just the string knot just came out loose and all that and i was just like oh my god it's just why couldn't they just add a simple strap like it just makes no sense whatsoever but i mean they did that and that's really annoying but i mean i did my best i think this is good enough i mean it's good for me at least you know so i think that's one thing that's a major con to that but other than that this figure right here is beautiful for what it is and then of course on its own it just looks spectacular like i said this is like by far the best head sculpt i've probably seen hot toys execute in my whole years of collecting and of course with this one i want to give some cons as well well the biggest cons if you guys already know and you guys are boba fett 
you know, collectors, you guys already know the wrist rockets are super frustrating to fucking deal with. I feel like a lot of accessories on this is very, very sensitive. And because of the fact it broke off a piece on my left gauntlet and it just was like, what the fuck just happened? And then of course the jetpack, that was somewhat on me. You guys probably saw earlier in the video. I just was being very fucking careless, but just be careful when it comes to like, you know, handling this. Don't try to like, you know, put everything all on at the same time because if this shit falls, I feel like anything on this will break either range right or the fucking jetpack or just anything else. But just be very, very careful. But the only cons I would really, and the only other con I would really say is that it has the fat suit. I really don't like the look of the big belly Boba Fett. It's just like, dude, come on. Like, I understand Tomorrow Morrison's like old and he's like, I don't want to say he's overweight, but he's bigger than what he was when he played Janko back in like 2002, like 20 years ago. But still, I don't like the fact that they just, it just makes him look bigger. I don't know. I just don't like that. I know I didn't do any of the comparisons with all of the other Boba Fett's with this one. And that's because I'm going to add this on the ranking video that I planned on doing initially, like I said earlier, but obviously this came out. So I had to review this before I did that because I want like I said, I want to add it on. So when the time comes, I will do my best to try to review and compare all of them, at least the more recent ones that have came come out. And then we'll go from there. But yes, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, if you want to see that, we'll hit the little subscribe button so you guys can stay tuned whenever that video comes out. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, the final thing I wanted to, well, talk about about these figures as well give them my rating like and the way i actually rate my figures is of course i use this little lego boba right here and i usually do it from one lego boba to which actually means it's shit and i would not advise you to buy it to five lego bobas where obviously you know i tell you if you can buy it you can buy it because it's an absolutely beautiful figure and in all honesty this figure i give it a solid four i'm for sure like that is what i give it because well like i said and to me it's a four because well you get so much out of this two pack you get obviously two figures you get so many accessories you get a beautiful head sculpt you get this armored version of boba fett obviously that you're supposed to have but the fact is that you get a beautiful beautiful paint application job on this figure and it's just beautiful and in all honesty if you're a boba fett fan of course i would advise you to pick this up if this is like your very first one i would that wouldn't be such a bad thing yeah in all honesty i think this set right here is worth the money the only reason why it's not a perfect five is because like i say it's not my favorite look because of the beer belly and all that i just i'm not a huge fan of the dad body boba fett i understand that but that's the only reason why really it's you know not a perfect score but other than that like i said this is an absolute buy and i cannot wait to see what hot toys does for the next set of well both the figures that we're pretty sure gonna have to get especially the one with the throne i can't wait to see how that looks i don't even know where the fuck i'm gonna put it but with that being said ladies and gents if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like because it really helps out with the youtube algorithm and of course let me know what you guys think about this figure down below in the comments and let me know if this is something you guys would buy or pass or if you guys even pre-order. I mean, just let me know if you guys are excited or not. And of course, if you guys want to stay tuned for that ranking video of all my Boba Fett figures that I own, of course. And you guys want to see all, I guess, the comparisons and all that baloney. Well, hit that little red button below. And of course, hit that little bell notification so you guys know when that actually comes out. Because I have, I have no idea when it's going to come out. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be soon because, well... We are in the process of watching the Book of Boba Fett and I want to keep this whole Boba Fett craze going on up until probably it ends. But with that being said, ladies and gents, I'm just a simple man just trying to make his way through YouTube. And well, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.